If you have come across a system.io CAA error when trying to add in your own custom domain, then don't worry, there is actually a really easy fix. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you step-by-step -step how you can actually overcome this so you can start using your custom domain. If it's your first time on this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I've got loads of free info down below. And if you haven't yet got started with a system, I've also got a free entire course, which you can get, which gives you templates, tutorials, and everything to use system. So what you can see on the screen here is I've tried to add my custom domain. I've put in all of the C names and everything properly, but I come up now with this CAA error. Basically what this means is it's an additional Amazon server requirement. So you can actually add in some CAA records just to make sure the connection is complete and it doesn't get flagged as a spam. So let me just show you quickly how to do this. And what we're gonna need first of all is access to our DNS records for our domain. Now, if you've already added your domain here, you should know where your DNS records are. For this example, my one is actually in a platform called Cloudflare. So make sure you have this handy. And then the next step is to open up another tab and go type in system.io space CAA. And down here, you'll see in the first article, it says how to resolve the CAA error when connecting your domain. So go ahead and click on that. And down here, we're going to have 10 records that we need to add to our DNS. And this is going to be complete after that. So let me just walk you through the process. It's only gonna take a few minutes and then we'll be done. So the first thing to do is come to our DNS records where we can see all of our records here. And what you wanna do is click on add record. Now underneath the type, now if you're on a different um, platform, it's going to look very similar in a certain way locate the area where you can add in records, and then click on the drop down and look for CAA, all right? Now for the name, what you wanna do is just put it at, so it just becomes the root uh, domain. So we want it to have power to the entire domain. And then down below, oh, we also have flags, which you can't touch, which is perfectly fine. TTL, you can leave that. And then we have here tag. Now there are, it has actually changed a little bit in the last six months, but let me try to explain it. So we have here allow specific host names and only allow wildcards. So we're actually going to do one for each. And why we do that is host names is actually the same as issue. And then wildcard is a issue wild. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Sometimes you can just select issue, issue wild, depending what your hosting server is. So let's go and get started. The first thing we wanna do is copy this amazon.com domain. Okay, and what we're gonna do is issue a uh, issue card or sorry issue tag so for this example in cloudflare we're going to put only allow specific host names and then we're just going to paste in amazon.com right super easy and then just click on save and what's going to happen you can see here we've now added a zero issue amazon.com caa record and you can see it's the same as these other records down here so very quick very easy you can see where we're going to go with this and what i'm going to do is as I've already copied amazon.com, I'm just going to add another record right now. So once again, CAA, just type in at, this time I'm going to choose wildcard and I'm just gonna paste this in here, okay? Click on save. And now we have added in the issue Amazon and the issue wild Amazon, which is this record here and this record here. So hopefully by now you can see what you need to do to complete all of these steps. Basically, we're just gonna copy these five records, add an issue and an issue wild, and we'll, we will be done. So let me show you how to do it once again. Go to add record, choose CAA, go to at, and then come down. For the first one, we're gonna use uh, only allow specific host names, paste in the domain name, click on save. All right, so that one's now had an issue, and we'll add another record. This time, choose CAA again. Choose at, but we're going to choose wildcards, paste in that domain name, click on save. Okay, so that's two down, three to go. Once again, copy the next lot. Okay, add record, write CAA, type in at, uh, specific host name is the issue, and click on save, right? That one is done, we'll add another record. This time CAA at once again, we'll choose wildcards, paste in the domain, click on save, right? And I'm going quite fast because I'm just showing you hopefully repetitiveness that of how to actually complete this. You can pause the video um, and get through it all, but this is literally all we're doing for this step. Okay, add record, CAA, 
choose at right specific host names first Amazon AWS click Save <clears throat> we'll add another record again okay CAA at this time wildcard paste in the CA domain name right that one's done and we're on our last one now okay copy okay add record CAA choose at right specific host names first paste it in save and last one CAA at this time wildcard and click paste and domain name click save now honestly I really don't understand the whole CAA and certificates and what exactly they are but these are the steps to do to follow to actually complete it so now we should have 10 new CAA records so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect now we don't have to do anything else this is going to automatically check it on a schedule I'm not exactly sure how often it checks but hopefully within like less than an hour this is now going to be ready to use worst case it's probably going to take about a day depending on who you're using for your domain hosting right now so that's good to go you can close this video and hopefully soon your domain is going to be ready to use